Hey guys, it's me again. Um, I am at home sick, so I decided I'd shoot a video. <laughs> I'm still in my PJs, but I just did my makeup. Um, so yeah, I wanted to share some stuff that I got from e.l.f. And um, I'm going to start with the lipsticks. I got five of their Dollar Line lipsticks. They look like that. And I got Fearless, Nostalgic, Seductive, Classy, and Flirtatious. Um, out of all of these, um, I have to say Fearless and Flirtatious were the best ones because they went on um, nice and smooth. Now, Nostalgic, I hate it. I I hate this one because it went on really really blotchy like it was horrible but um, yeah I don't like that one and um, seductive was like so so it's I think it's still worth a dollar um, especially if you're gonna use like lip gloss on top of your lipsticks um, classy I did like also classy was okay um, but yeah I'll show you the swatches of them so this is um, this red one here is fearless. This one is nostalgic. You can barely see it, but it went on really blotchy. Nostalgic. I don't recommend that color unless it was just mine. I know with Elf products, they're not always very consistent. So um, I don't know. I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. The next one was seductive, which is this one right here right there that's seductive that was like I was iffy about that one um, not the color I'm talking about like the creaminess or the texture that one was okay um, also the one um, classy was okay classy went on alright and but I was just very surprised how this last one um, flirtatious this is flirtatious um, this one went on so creamy and Fearless just went on so creamy. They felt like the mineral lipsticks. The difference between those two and the other ones was really big. Anyways, those are the swatches on the top. And um, here on the bottom, I did get two of their mineral line um, lipsticks. And I really, really like this packaging a lot. I love the packaging on this. Because if you notice on these, I know these were only a dollar. I mean, it's a big difference, $5 and $1. But um, if you notice on this one, it's already smudged inside on that little clear thing. It's kind of cool how you can see the color. But like this one is already smudged out. And um, it's still nice packaging. But I really, 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 really like just the sleek black. Um, packaging. Anyway, um, the colors that I got was um, Pouty Petal and then this one over here is Nicely Nude. So Pouty Petal, Nicely Nude. Um, they're neutral colors and they do go on very creamy so I do like um, the creaminess of their mineral line lipsticks. I love the packaging like the creaminess. Those two colors are right in the middle here. I'm trying to see if I can show these to you guys. Yeah, so it's these two colors right here. This is um this is nicely nude and this is pouty petal. Those two right in the middle. Um I also bought two of their um, blushes and um, I am totally loving this blush here and this pink passion and it's just a really 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 bright pink if you can see that okay that is this color right there if you can see that really pink like bright pink color um, that is a really cute color like for young girls or just to wear in the summer that's really pretty the other color that I got was tickled pink and it's this one right here 
and do you see how when I swatched it it's a little bit um, chalky so I found this one to be a little more chalky and it's a very light color so I don't even know if it's gonna show up on camera but it's right there so it's a very very light um, color but I did I did like it as long as it doesn't get too chalky so hopefully it won't um, that's those two and I I can't stress enough how much I love this type of packaging. The Studio Line packaging is awesome. I love this packaging. I love it. I just, I can't say enough. They put a little window on it so you can see. And, um, you know, you can see the color. It closes very tightly. You can easily store these. You can put them in your purse. I like how they include a mirror up here. I just love their packaging for their whole Alfline products. I love them. Love the packaging. The other thing that I got was um, I tried their black cream liner and I did like that one. Like I said before, it's not going to stay um, put like if you smudge it. It's going gonna, it's gonna to smudge if you touch your eye. But um, it's really easy to put on and I really, really liked it. So this time I decided to try um, this color. It's ivory. So it's like a silver color. And again, I love their packaging. This packaging too. I, I just like how it's just black and clear. You can see the color inside. And it comes with a little brush like this. So I use that to make some lines there just to practice. And I do like how it goes on. Um, it's, I think it's good for the price. Um, staying power is probably not that great, but I mean, sometimes you just get what you pay for, you know? But yeah, I would definitely purchase this one again. It's very bright and silvery, and um, it's really pretty. So I do recommend this one and the black one also. Okay, um, the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is the Complete Coverage Concealer Palette, and this one is in medium. And again, with the packaging, I love the packaging. Here's the mirror up here, but you can see um, exactly what you're getting into. So when you're looking through your cosmetics, you see what it is because of the little window. And it just, I love the packaging. <laughs> End of story. So inside it does have four colors and it has a little brush that comes with it, which I doubt I would probably ever use this brush, but I probably just use my fingers. But there are the colors, and um, I did swatch them here, and there's four colors if you are able to see them. So, starts there, one, two, three, and four. So those are the four colors. Um, I feel like they're very, very creamy, and they go into your skin well, but I don't feel like they cover very well. So for a concealer, I feel like they should cover a little bit more. But um, if you use, this is another thing that I bought from them, it's the Mineral Blemish Powder. If you use a little bit of powder on top, I think it helps a lot. So um. This is what the mineral blemish powder looks like. So you open it up. Let me see if you can take a look at that. Yeah, and it's like this. I haven't opened it yet. Um, and it comes with a little brush like this. And this is really good to, for me, the way I like to use it is um, where I put my concealer, if I'm covering a certain area where I have like blemishes and things like that, I like to throw a little bit of loose powder on top. I like to use this under my eyes for under eye circles. And I feel like if you use something like that on top of these, um, it'll make the product better. So another thing that I like about this is how many colors it has. And um, if you tend to contour with um, concealer and you're not so much as covering major flaws, I feel like this is a really good thing that you can contour your face with. Um, a lot of people don't contour with concealers. They contour with like bronzing powders and stuff like that. Um, just powder products and I just feel like you could contour with this one and for the price 
um, you can definitely get your money's worth out of it if you're using it for that reason. And also, young girls that don't have much, like, major things to cover up, I also think this is a good product for you guys. Um, but yeah, I overall, I did like this. I'm going to try it out and um, see how it goes. But so far, I think I can definitely work with this product. Um, the last thing that I got was um, another little Hypershine lip gloss and I got this one in bubblegum and it's a really pretty pink for spring and summer and it looks like that and it's just very very glossy so I don't have lip gloss on the first time you get these you have to turn them a lot to get that color to get pumped out that's just the first time but if you can see that, hopefully you can see the difference. These are, they go on very nicely. They're only a dollar. And they're very shiny. Do you see that? I love this one. Hey, I really like the color. But yeah, I do I do like these. Um, I don't think all the colors are as great, but um, they are something nice to just throw in your purse and carry it around. They're not extremely glossy, but um, they do give you a nice little um, natural shine. Yep, so that's that one. This one is in bubblegum. And um, of course, as always, I did get the makeup, the e.l.f. makeup remover um cleansing cloths so i always get these these are really good you get 20 of them and um they're really good to take off your makeup or to fix mistakes and stuff like that so that's really good and i got another of the daily brush cleaner so it comes like this so you open that up it's um this looks exactly like their setting mister um just in a bigger bottle but yeah this is the brush cleaner and it says an antibacterial daily brush cleanser for quickly cleaning in between makeup application disinfects brushes to provide a fresh and clean application every time and helps to keep your brushes lasting longer for extended use so that's this one right here and um yeah i i use this i don't have a problem with it and I think it's do it does its job so I keep buying this. Um, I do recommend that product also and that is it. That is the end of my e.l.f. haul. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and found this um, review helpful and um, I guess I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye.